In this video, I want to give you four things that I see every single person who is jacked doing that skinny guys don't do. And it's probably because of these four things that you're skinny. Because if you're skinny, you're probably watching this video. If not, then why the fuck are you here? Anyway, this is me about four years ago. I was, I was actually skinny fat. Then at some point I became skinny because I was training somewhat, but I wasn't eating enough. And then I became skinny. And after I became skinny, I then later on got jacked because I just, okay, up to calories, simple. I did well over 300 workouts. I did some insane challenges like 1000 push-ups, pull-ups, and a whole bunch of shit. And also I helped my friend start going to the gym. So actually build up consistency, uh, fix his diet, fix his routine, literally everything from scratch. And I also got him jacked, which is over here. You can see the pictures and I'm helping one more right now lose weight. So if you don't know who I am, by the way, my name is Sharko, and I help entrepreneurs get jacked so they can make more money. That's all I'm trying to do. So if you're somebody who's like that, cool. If not, then cool. <laughs> anyway, in this video, I want to help you just understand these four things, because if you just understand these four things, you can pretty much forget about the rest of the stuff and you'll be fine. Okay, that's it. That's my promise for this video and plan. So the first thing we're going to cover is essentially what is called or what is known as fit mind and here's mini story of this i tried to get jacked multiple times so as you can see i was in this space trying to get jacked for four years which means i had multiple tries before this now the reason why i was never successful wasn't because of my workout routine which is what i used to believe was my problem but no it was actually my mind because my mind was simply full of garbage. Like when I look back to my life, when I was training with my friends at a time, we would not speak about training. We would speak about some random fucking things like video games or some other bullshit that we just, I don't know, randomly thought about. And it's because your mind is not fit that you essentially cannot build muscle, okay? So fit mind, is doing what a person who is already fit is doing. That is my definition. So if you see somebody speaking about this, you know they fucking stole it from me. Fit mind means doing what a person who is already fit is doing. So if you think about all the things that person who is fit is already doing, you just have to replicate it and you're going to get the effect. Because essentially getting a body that you like or physique that you want is an effect. It's a result. And you get result by creating a cause that is going to create the effect. That's all you're trying to do. You're trying to put in a good inputs so you can have a mind or essentially you can have a physique that you want. And it, it doesn't come like, people also make this really bad assumption. People think that, okay, so if I just, if I just take the action, I'm going to get the result. No, because your mind is not fit. Your mind does not want to take the action. And so because he doesn't want to take the action, he will just not fucking do it. Or even if he does take the action, he will try to manipulate you to believe that, okay, well, we can just do, I don't know, 90% or 80% of the effort that we're supposed to do, and you will not get jacked because of that. So you have to see it as your mind has to be jacked before you get jacked. Like, you, you need to have a fit mind. It sounds stupid, it sounds really weird, but essentially it's just, it's just understanding that your mind is dictating the action you take. You need to make sure he's fit before you're actually fit, okay? So you need to prepare him for all the garbage you're going to go through, okay? Everything. And these are just like some, some couple of things you can do if you're somebody who doesn't know what the fit mind means. For example, lifting till failure, doing those two to three extra reps, sleeping at the right time, having the right diet, tracking your calories and everything. These kinds of things is what a person who is fit is already going to do. Just do it. Like make a rule for yourself to do what the person who is jacked is going to do. And by the proxy of you doing that, you're going to get the results you desire. That's all you need to do. Like, it's really fucking simple. Trust me. Like, that's all you need to do to get jacked. Next one. Measure. The first time I ever tried to bulk up, I wasn't able to. I was, like, starting, like, I measured my weight and everything, right? But I wasn't able to bulk up. And it was because... I didn't track my calories. I didn't know how much I was eating. So essentially, I was training through a school, which means I had eight hours of school and then I had, what, six hours of, like, 
my time essentially where I could like eat, train, whatever else, study for school. And it never, it never occurred to my mind that I should probably track my calories. And because I wasn't tracking my calories, what happened is that I wasn't bulking up. So the second thing you need to do if you're somebody who is skinny is you need to fucking measure. Especially if you're skinny. Like, I know it's hard to get fucking calories in. It isn't hard if you know how to fucking measure it. It is hard, however, if you are not going to measure it. If you don't have a plan that you're going to execute on. Like, you can get 3,000 calories in without a problem if you had a good plan. If you did actually measure it. And the reason why I put this over here is because of Peter Drucker who said... What gets measured gets managed. So if you just measure something, and I mean, you, it could be anything. If you just measure something, it's going to get managed, which means you're going to put more emphasis on it because let's say right now you track your weight. You track your weight for some reason. And I mean, not for some reason, you should track your weight, by the way. But you track your weight and you see, okay, by these three, two weeks, how much I was tracking, nothing changed. Okay track it even more. Like, if it's painful to look at a scale, you should do it fucking more. Because if it's painful, you're going to take the action necessary to change the fucking painful state. What gets measured gets managed. It's really important to understand this lesson because people don't understand this, man. Like, people genuinely think that, oh, if I, if I just measure my weight, it's just going to be pain. No, it's not going to be pain because you're going to pay more attention and attention is aligned, which means the more attention you give to something, the more you're going to align the action to change the, the behavior you have right now or where you are right now, where you currently are. So track absolutely everything that, you, that is going to impact your workout. Track your diet, track your sleep, track, like, I don't know, man. Everything you possibly can. Because the more ways you can track something, the more ways you can predict something. And the more ways you know where you fucked it up. Like, it is possible to make progress without tracking, especially in the beginning. But as you move on, you need to fucking track things. Like, I'm at the point where I need to track things. Because if I don't, I will just under eat. I will not eat enough protein or something else. So I need to track everything. What gets measured gets managed. Next, number three, self-control. This is the hardest one to build because self-control is, I believe, especially if you have never done it before, it's one of the hardest skills to ever acquire. So if I think about like my first ever time trying to diet, I remember, man, the desire to eat chocolate was just insane. Like, it was just insane. I knew I should not eat it, but it was just insane. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because you need to realize one thing. It will not be like this forever. Like, it will not be like this forever. I know self-control is something that you know it's important, but it's really hard to do. But until you realize that, essentially, it's hard right now. Like, the, hard, the hardest part is right now is you building the habit. The hardest part right now is to find what is essentially going to work for you. Once you find that, once you know how to train, once you know when to eat and what to eat and how to eat it, it's all done. You just have to fucking take the action. And the reason why I bring this up is because it's underrated, man. Like, you have to realize that if you fail once, you're not going to the beginning. You're not just... Like, for example, people think, oh, if I, if I, if I fap or no fap, like, it's day zero again. Like, it's a, it's a wrong mentality because it's not. Self-control is something you're going to build up over time. And I'm telling you right now, man, like, sometimes it happens that I fuck up. And it's okay. Like, it's it's completely fine. You have to realize that you're building this over time. And it's, it's the hardest right now in the beginning when you're trying to, like, stop eating some fucking crap. Because I used to eat crap shit. I used to. But it's just getting those small wins daily like i'm telling you right now you don't have to fucking do it you don't have to eat the chocolate you don't and you know this right now but it's tempting because you can never build this muscle and it's okay because it's your first time but the more you do it the more the better you're going to become because essentially it's just going to break at some point like i i don't eat chocolate anymore i don't i i don't remember the last time i fucking ate sweets 
I, 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 I genuinely fucking don't, don't remember. I think it's maybe like one and a half years ago. I don't know. And it's because I realized that what I'm building right now, the system that I have in my mind is going to lead me towards everything that I want for the rest of my life. Because it was the hardest right now. And so the three-step self-control framework is become aware of what is stopping you and destroying your, destroying your progress, break the habit and replace it with a new one. So for example, if you think about food, okay, let's say you start eating junk food when you feel alone. I don't know. Or whatever else. Like you, you feel hurt, you something happens to you, like I don't know. And you feel like you're in so much pain and then you start eating junk food. You realize, okay, I'm aware of this shit right now. Like, this is not good for me. Then you break the habit and replace it with a new one. Because if you just break the habit and you're aware of it, it's going to come back because there is nothing to fucking replace it with. And so if I think about like my eating junk food, like I just, I said, okay, this is when it happens. And it happened by the way, like when I was mentally drained, I was like, okay, I will just have a meal that is healthy every single day when I feel mentally drained. And also, also by the way, I will make sure there is no junk food in my whole entire apartment. And that is how I fucking break it up, you know? Like it isn't that hard once you understand that it's that it is this right now. Like it, it only takes 30 days to quit all of this garbage. So build up your self-control because you need this fucking bullshit. Like you actually need this shit. Especially like for training and for other stuff, like you need self-control. And the tip number four is to wait. So I remember this one time when I was trying to get jacked for the first time. I was doing everything right for about a week, but then week passes and I go back to my old habits. If I was doing the same thing over and over again for five years in that one week, I will be jacked much faster. But what you don't realize is that time exists. Like, th time actually exists. And so you just don't want to look fit for two months. You want to stay this way. And if you want to stay fit, you have to be okay with time. You have to be okay with showing up and not seeing the results that you want to see over and over and over again because that is what fucking time is. Like, that is what time is. It takes time to build great and good shit. And that is why everybody fucking wants it because nothing... Nothing great is easy. Everything hard or everything worth doing is hard. And so if you see a hard thing as a requisite, if you see pain and time as a requisite to build a physique that you want to build, then if you see it right now and it, if it feels painful, then good, you're on the fucking right path. And the reason I put this over here is because people believe that what is right now is always going to be forever, but it's not. It's not, like it never is. If you're skinny right now, like you will not be skinny for the rest of your life if you take the correct action and you change it. Like if you put enough attention to it, man, like at some point, it has to fucking happen. Like You get what I mean? It has to fucking happen. Wait, be patient. And if you think about patience, patience is just like being busy with something else in the meantime, do something else. I don't know, help your mother with flowering, not actually flowering, that, 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 isn't, that isn't even a, a verb, whatever, you get a point, just do something else, garden, walking business, whatever you want, man, but be okay, because it will take fucking time, I'll, I'm telling you right now, like, because I did this myself, right, I had everything figured out, for five months, I didn't see results, and at some point just whoosh, Compounding everything at once. What is right now will not be fucking forever. Okay, so realize time actually exists and you want to be fit for the rest of your life. Like you want to have a fit mind, you want to measure everything and you want to have self-control for the rest of your life because that is how you get jacked, okay? Now, if you're somebody who is an entrepreneur, ideally, you don't have to be an entrepreneur, but like if you're somebody who really is an entrepreneur who wants to get jacked, so does his health and fitness. Down below you have a first link in the description and I'm just looking for five guys who I'm going to coach for really cheap just to test out my program. So I'm about, I'm about to 
put my program out there to coach people, entrepreneurs. So if you're somebody who is an entrepreneur, I'm just looking for five guys and I'm going to like make price extremely cheap because I just want to see if actually I can help you build your dream physique and improve your energy without spending hours in the gym and making my meal plans just to see if actually my program is going to work. And so if you are interested, if you're somebody who really wants to maybe join it, maybe actually like book a call down below, rules for the program are you're going to use what I gave you, you're going to take a picture before the program, give me feedback on it. So as I'm giving you meal plans, I'm giving, as I'm helping you out with your, pro your problems, I'm going to also like you're going to give me feedback, feedback to see if something is actually working or just to see if there is some kind of problem. And only if I del deliver your results to and you like me, you can also refer me a person that you know is going to benefit from it. So if you're somebody who's an entrepreneur and you want to really get jacked, so that you have the fitness in least amount of time and you want to do it cheap for free and you want to give me a chance, down below for the description, okay? I'll make sure it's going to be worth your fucking time. And as always, take care, bye, and what else? Peace.